Moving forward, the PwC Africa Energy Review 2024 highlights South Africa as the front runner in the continent's shift towards energy security. Now, the report notes a 7.1% increase in Africa's clean energy capacity in 2023, with projections indicating it could reach 25% by 2025, fueled by advancements in solar, wind and hydropower. Furthermore, South Africa is particularly prominent in renewable energy investment, especially in solar and wind sectors. Energy expert Matthew Cruz shares his insights on this development. PwC recently re released their Africa Energy Review Report for 2024, and in it there were some interesting figures. They indicated that in Africa, the total amount of clean energy that has been deployed in the continent surged by 7.1% in 2023 and that clean energy is projected to account for 25 percent of the continent's energy use by 2025. This is primarily driven by improvements in deployment of solar and wind farms and also hydroelectricity. They also noted that South Africa is leading the charge in terms of the investment amounts that are being deployed into solar and wind and this is facilitated by the Just Energy Transition Investment Plan which outlines the $8.5 billion that was allocated from Western countries to South Africa for the years 2023 to 2027, uh, with the goal of helping us reduce our carbon emissions from our electricity use as a country. This is placing South Africa as a beacon of hope, as put by the PwC report, for the rest of the continent in terms of how to go about deploying renewable energy in South Africa. What will happen with our price of electricity is we'll still continue to see the price increasing over the next five years, in my estimation, uh, an average of 15% year on year. But following that, we will see then the price starting to come down and even out as the renewable and wind comes online and there's competitive market forces that brings down the price of electricity in five to eight years. However, we've seen ESCOM applying for a 44% increase for municipalities this year coming, and so we can expect, unfortunately, that the price will still increase over the next five years.